in this episode of Platinum Tech, we're gonna show you why you should never sleeve an RB block. So we get asked all the time if you can sleeve an RB block, and the answer is always no. It doesn't matter what circumstances, it doesn't matter why you feel you're gonna get away with it, it doesn't matter if it works on every other engine known to man, it just doesn't work on an RB. We're gonna explain why. So based on the videos we've already shown you guys, the RB block suffers from core shift. The block itself is made of gray cast iron. The issue is, it's not that thick, it has no yield, there's no ballooning, there's no elasticity. It gets to a certain point and cracks. At that point, people think, okay, I'll sleeve it. But the issue is, once you sleeve it, you're removing two, three, four mil, one mil on a real thin liner, but you don't have that much material to play with to begin with. So you're chomping away at the support system for the sleeve or the liner. Without the support system, the sleeve cracks. Why? The sleeve's made of steel, usually, or a ductile sort of cast iron. It will balloon, it will stretch, and it will, it will get to a certain yield, it'll come back, certain yield again, as it stretches. If it doesn't have the support behind it, it will just crack, because it doesn't have the support. So you'll crack the sleeve, and the ball behind it was already cracked, it's cracked again in the exact same spot, it's exactly what happened with this block. So we've been waiting for a block to come in to have a good example of where the support structure for the liner has split and then the sleeve has split itself. Brad from Racetech managed to split a block. He then sleeved it thinking he'd get away with it. So he called me up, Herman, I've got a block. It's gonna nail all your features. Thank you very much, Brad. Here it is. And we're gonna show you exactly what happened. It split in a fairly thin spot of the ball, caused a, a, a crack from the pretty well, all the way from the top where all the cylinder pressure is, and it sort of went all the way down three quarters of the ball. He machined it out, had it sleeved with a new liner, and it looks like a three, three and a half mil liner, dropped it in, happy days, we're good to go. Ran it up again, I believe the first session racing, he, uh, he did the same crack in the same spot, of the bore and it's basically, you can see it on one side of the cylinder all the way through to the other. It cracked pretty well mirror image the whole way through. It doesn't work. So what do you do if you've split a bore? You can't sleeve it, we've ruled that out. You can't really go past an 87 mil bore anyway. So the RB block's got a fair lifespan. What do you do when you do damage that block? Can't fix it, man. You've just got to get a new block. Can't find a new block get a billet block. If you're gonna squeeze it, you want a race car on the street, get a billet or hang out for the new PRP block that we hope to release hopefully by the end of 23. Just keep peppering us with messages and emails and, uh, and we'll keep working at it, but we'll get there.